Check out this conversation between Joy Reid and uh, who works for MSNBC and one of the co-founders of Moms for Liberty. Books that are being banned. I want to give you just no some. Books hold, are being on, banned. No, hold on a second. Well, no, Joy, but I want to be clear. Uh -huh. No one's banning books. We're talking about a public school library. Mm -hmm. Children don't have unfettered access to the Internet at school. And, and the subject matter in the books that moms are concerned about are the same things that kids don't have access to on the Internet. So it, it just feels very hypocritical, right? No, why is no one out there protesting for, you know, free the Internet in school? <laughs> what is the expertise that you have and other Moms for Liberty advocates have to decide that a book, an award-winning book like All Boys Aren't Blue, isn't oh. appropriate for students to read? Expertise. What a tragic story of a young man who's annually raped by his adult family member. So mm -hmm. you have incest, rape, pedophilia. Joy, you said you'd let me answer, so sure. I'm going to answer Please for you. Tell me what the context around the strap on dildo or the rape of a minor child by a teacher. Hold on a second. No, 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 no. no wait, We're talking on. about no, no, public no. school. One, one moment. All right. So now you've asked me questions. Sure. Well, and I'm going to answer it. You just gave me very specific information about this book. So you're pre presenting yourself as somebody ex so, Who's the main character in the, the book? The main character is the author. Who's the, what's his name? George, I believe is his first because name. Because you're giving me very specific information that is You're asking me to remember the name of an author. You the just remember very specific doesn't things. Joy. Here's question. You didn't answer my no, question. No, no, no. I'm going to answer Great. I would love to hear that absolutely well i you, i'm interviewing you and you're not interviewing me so let's just make sure it's a conversation okay, okay great. so what i'm saying to you is that as you are not an expert i don't have to be an expert no, 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 hold on a those aren't one appropriate moment, for public one moment. school i mean this come on, let's book, get real why is it your right or a moms for liberty activists right to say that a parent who wants their child to have access to this book which gives a personal experience of this author the why doesn't a liberal parent for instance or a parent of an lgbtq kid why don't they have a right for their child to just have access to this book. Why is it your right to say they can't? Again, we're talking about incest, rape, and pedophilia. And well, each parent, no, 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 no. Each parent has to decide what is appropriate for their child to read. So I want you to answer. I'm going to ask so you one more time. Right. What is your right to tell a parent who wants their child, who might feel seen by this story, why oh don't they gosh. have the right? Why don't they have the right as a parent to say my child can have access to this book? If a child feels seen by this story, that means that they have been uh, the victim of a predator. That means that they have either been raped by a family member. And your proof of that someone. is what? You just said that What's the child feels that? seen by this story. They, so they they make, what, no, 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 what no, no, I'm no, saying, no. Joy, You're now making assumptions. No, about Joy, no, no. But if Let a child give you has a, been raped, we should do a lot better than put a book on the library Now you're literally shelf. creating a story behind a child that you don't know. Let me show you a form. This is a form that can be obtained in Broward County, Florida. Okay. I'm going to show it to the audience, and then I'm going to show it to you. Okay. This is called Can the opt-out. Yeah, please, I'm going to hand it to you. you so it's called the opt-out form. So that Moms for Liberty, why not advocate that every school in America have an opt-out form so that a parent who doesn't want their child to access a book like All Boys Aren't Blue, then each parent, including a liberal parent, a black parent, a parent who wants their child to read a book about African-American history, then we they want get all, their We rights. want children to read books We Why not just opt history, out so. for yourself rather than tell other parents what they can and cannot? Sure. First of all, I think what you're talking about here is a wonderful step in the right direction. Um, we should be having conversations about this. This is about local control. Mm -hmm. A lot of these decisions are made at, made at the local school board level. Mm -hmm. And that's where these decisions should be made. And there should be vibrant conversations sure. about what's happening in our public school. Joy, however... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could just put all the books with all the graphic sexual content. The dildos, You're not the just, rape, the I'm sorry. Let's do I'm a, so sorry. Let's do excuse a back me, room. Excuse me. Let's excuse put a me, curtain up me. in the library First of like all, they used hold to on. do. One moment, one moment. I have public seen library. tapes of does what Moms for Liberty does. And you all go into school board meetings. Joy. and you.